Good morning and welcome to Missoula Real Estate Today. This is Denny Bedard. Missoula Real Estate Today is presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate. Beck and Beck provide complete service for your real estate transaction and bring you guests who provide interesting information about products and services available in our community. And now, Missoula Real Estate Today on News Talk KGVO. Hey, we hope all is well with your weekend. We're sure glad you made Missoula Real Estate Today a part of it. A first-time guest on the show today, Jen Fritz. Jen is the owner of Montana Redesigned Furniture Consignment. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. How'd they find you anyway? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just got this uh, uh, I got, got out of the blue. got an email, yeah. Yeah, out yeah. of the blue, and you said, well, all right. All yeah, right. it sounds great. Yeah, yep, I will give that a whirl. <laughs> well, uh, let's do the the get acquainted there, Jen. What is Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment, and uh, how long has it been in Missoula? Um, we've been around for a year in, in a store, uh, yeah. but I've been doing it for four years. So um, just consignment for people that are needing to downsize, um, move quickly, get rid of some items that have been kind of stacked in their basement or their garage, and they're just ready to let these things go. And so, yeah, it's pretty exciting to be able to help people out with that. So uh, about a year where you are now. Yes. And prior to that, you were working. I was in my garage. (laughs) No kidding. (laughs) Yeah. Yep, yep. I, think I, made it, I made it work until my kids said no more. <laughs> <laughs> Can we ride our bikes maybe? <laughs> I think uh, that's how Amazon started. I might be right? interviewing a, a super mega mega go. star here. Uh, <laughs> your your background, what in, what inspired you to get that business up and running? Yeah, I've been doing construction, um, construction. office work, um, project management, um, assistant for about 21 years Mm -hmm. and have absolutely loved it. Um, But three kids and I turned into a single mom about eight years ago. So kind of pushed me to have a lot more, you know, responsibilities by myself and kind of drove me to find something where I could be my own boss. So yeah, it was really exciting just to all of a sudden start kind of selling my things at home. And then you know, I am the spreadsheet queen, so I was able to take on some other people. My yes. girlfriend in real estate actually got a hold of me, Annalise Heidel, and she said, could you help some of my clients? And I said, well, yeah, sure. So that kind of just boosted the whole the idea behind did, it. Uh, did you know that Annalise used to work here? Yes, I did. Yeah, we yes. Were, loved Annalise. I love Annalise. I haven't seen her in a long time, but oh we, were, we were co-workers for uh, a number of years, and uh, she was just a wonderful gal to work with. So. Yeah, if I could squeeze her every day and her sunshine just, you know, pile out yeah. on me, that'd be great. Yeah. That, that probably half answers the, the question I'm going to ask you here in a little bit about your relationship with uh, relationship with realtors, but uh, I'll ask it anyway when yeah. we get to it. Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate, and my guest this week, Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. Um redesign is in the store's name that caught my eye what what message are you trying to convey there i am kind of two ended there um that they can redesign you know their space um by consigning their items and then the customers that are coming in to buy stuff get to redesign with other people's items that are gently used and so it's kind of a two-fold system you know it's it's home goods that um, people might not have yeah around for a while because there's a lot of really crazy unique antiques in there that your grandmother might have had your mom and and you find it and it's pretty pretty uh outstanding to watch people light up do you, do you remember some of the first uh, successful items that you you put uh, uh you know on the market or up for sale from here when you're still working in the garage yes. some yeah. of the, some of the things you sold back then that kind of you know, told you you know hey they're they're there could be something here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had started just with furniture, um, and a few people brought in. They just said, would you take some of my antique items? Um, and I posted those items, you know, out on the marketplace, yeah. Craigslist, whatnot. And just seeing people tear up, um, a couple of the items were something their grandmother oh. or mother had. And they just, I mean, ran to my home to get these items and just hugged me and just said, I've been looking for these things forever. So that Gosh. just was like, okay, furniture doesn't have to be the only thing. It can be some pretty neat treasures. 
Well, that might be a part of the answer right there to this one. But what what do you uh, what do you really like about owning owning a store like this? I love just the customers, honestly, one hundred percent, really on both sides. But truly, the people that I can sign for. Um, there's a lot of history, a lot of tears going into the whole, you know, um, consigning because a lot of it is their mother or father's items sure. that they're having to let go of. Um, and just them being so thankful that they have a place to take these treasures instead of losing them to the garbage, um, the landfill. And that's just heartbreaking because those items truly have turned around and sold, you know, to somebody that has really, you know, honestly treasured them on the other end. So I love that. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson at Windermere Real Estate, the Beck and Beck team on Newstock KGBL, and my guest, Jen Fritz, owner, Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. Okay, time for a radio tour right. of the store there. Jen, as much detail as you need to. What, what all can we expect as we browse? We walk in the door, and uh, what are, what are we going to see? The front room is just, it's all fun. Um, just a lot of little trinkets, um, glassware, antiques. Um, the front room is just more things that are popping at people in today's market. Um, and then the next room over is all antiques. So um, we've got bed frames, um, old lamps, uh, gorgeous end tables, things that you haven't seen probably in years, yeah. um, just filled with the decor of that time as well. So mid-century modern, um, anywhere back to the 20s. Um, and then we have some 1800s items as well that are pretty special. Um, we go into like a kitchen area for the next room where you just have all your daily, you know, air fryers and curings sure. and all the things, uh, appetizer platters, and then the really fun, cool wine glasses and blown um, glass art Right. Stuff like that that, you know, you can serve on. So um, you keep on going back and you have a huge warehouse that's just filled with couches and love seats and end tables and coffee tables and art and, um, you know, arts throughout the whole place. But um, a lot more back there. We created an art wall. Um, so you go up the stairs and you have that entire stairway filled with art. And then you go up to CDs and VHS and DVDs and, you know, lamps everywhere and um, but a lot of crafts, people, you know, they're stamping up crafts and, um, you know, all those fun little, um, yarn and <laughs> sewing kits and all of that stuff. So then you go into the men's section where we have the fly fishing and the hunting pieces and the, you know, everything you can think of a sportsman wise, um, you know, VHS players and electronics and all the old cool iPods and stuff like that. So um, and then clothing and shoes and bedding and I mean everything. You just think it, it's there, really. And then we'll have Christmas and holidays and all that stuff. So. Seasonal. Yeah. Seasonal. It'll get crazy. Gee, as uh, you are giving the radio tour I asked for, and you're doing a, an amazing job here, <laughs> uh, in, in my mind, I am, frankly, uh, visualizing a, a much larger uh, facility than, than I might have uh, imagined or yeah. guessed. What are you talking about? 2,500 square feet. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And it's, you know, it's all tucked into this this warehouse, but it's been um, it's been great taking everybody's different pieces. I have uh, over 150 customers, uh, clients, consignees, mm-hmm. um, and taking their items and matching them with other people's items and just integrating them all together. Um, it's a It's a beautiful showcase of stuff. Now, did you take on this entire uh, facility at once or was it all at once? Yep. Yep. I moved in last July, Mm. got pneumonia for the (laughs) three weeks and kind of died through, you know, the (laughs) stairs and moving in all the boxes. But yeah, Yeah. just went for it. When you first looked, was it empty when you first looked at it? It was empty. Yeah. And are you thinking, okay, uh, I've got 2,500 square feet. And I got my little itty bitty garage. Yep. What the heck am I gonna do? Yeah. With twenty five hundred square feet. I, I mean, about, you must have had a vision. Yeah, I need about three more places now. I mean, that's how quickly it's grown. <laughs> that's it, an amazing success story, right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, constantly um, looking to grow and get bigger, but 
just yeah. happy where I'm at right now. So it sounds like a pretty big store, but I guess uh, you're to a point where it's never quite big enough. You've got it. Yeah. yeah I, could, I could hold, you know, Costco down with all the stuff I have, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Rival. <laughs> are there, are there uh, larger items you would eventually like to merchandise, or you will just kind of take on whatever you can accommodate, sort of? I take on what I can accommodate, and then I also have six storage units full of items. So every time something big sells in the store... Something new comes from that storage unit. Oh so, goodness. yeah, it's and it turns around pretty darn quickly. This is is an amazing story, and and we'll we'll do all of this at the end of the show too. But uh, let's go ahead and mention right now, Jen. It's it's not a a hidden place. It's just a little tiny bit off Reserve Street. I'm sure a lot of people know about it. Yep. But because it's not, you know, it doesn't have a, a lot of super visibility. From Reserve, let, let, let's go over the location, the the build, the business building you're in and all that. Definitely. Yeah, I'm in the North Reserve Business Center. Right. And there's several suites there, but I'm in Suite F3, and it does have a sign and all of that. Um, but, yeah, that that business center is right behind, like, old Chicago, Jiffy Lube. You yep. return at Jiffy Lube right there, right before you hit the Hilton. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty easy once you turn off that road. Um, there's a big, huge sign that says North Reserve Business Center. So yeah. there, there it is. And again, yeah. uh, folks, we, we will go all, over all of that at the end of the show as well. Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate. And my guest, Jen Fritz. Jen is the owner of Montana Redesigned Furniture Consignment. The consignment process, Jen, if, if people have items they, they would like you to sell for them, what all's involved? So they just get a hold of me. Um, they can start by just seeing if I have room at the at the time. Okay. And, Give you a call and how or much, drop in or doesn't yep, matter? all okay. the above, yeah. Okay. Um, and I have all that on my website and Facebook and Instagram. So uh, easy to get a hold of me. Um, but usually I just ask you to start texting some pictures of what you want to consign with me. And then I we just set up a time for me to come out. I have an enclosed trailer, so it's really nice, an 8 by 10 um, and I just pick up all your stuff. Um, and then I spreadsheet it. I price it for you. You get your own Google Doc. Um, and then we just go over whether or not you're good to go with those pricing points. And because I do research for the market here. Um, and then we just start selling. Okay. So it's a 50-50 consignment just because I hold, you know, the space and the time. and the. Um, sure. So, yeah, it's just it works pretty easy that way. How you merchandise the store, that, that does depend in part on what the aforementioned people bring in for consignment. Yep. Uh, how do you evaluate what you feel are items that that you want to have on the floor? Obviously, <laughs> obviously not everything is um, Montana redesigned furniture consignment worthy. Right. So uh, now, now a little tact and diplomacy on your part. Right. But what, what is your evaluation process? Um, just Just what's on the market. What is okay. needed on the market, um, what people are calling me for. Um, I'm not too picky with what I take as long as it's not broken or dirty. Okay, or, so, so condition and, and yeah. cleanliness do come in. Yep, yeah, yeah. Obviously. And um, just value. Also, it has to do with, you know, um, the customer's need to sell it super quickly or if they're good with just letting the market take its time. Um, so if you're there for just, you know, quickly trying to turn around something, usually doesn't work that way. So if you have the patience to just let the process work, then it'll work great. Yeah. So you got to manage expectations in, in that regard. I mean, yep. you, you probably don't assign a, a time frame on it. Maybe yep. you do. But, you know, if I brought something to you and you said, well, I, I think we've got something saleable here, but uh, I know my customers pretty well. I might need three to four weeks or, yep. or yep. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And everything seems to sell, you know, in the four years I've been doing this everything's has sold in time um but yeah it just takes that that's a pretty that good patience pretty good turnover ratio right <laughs> uh, you got going there um do, do, do you put a lot of time into making good items look better i would imagine i, I don't know because we've just met but i would imagine you know an artistic flair maybe some diy uh Absolutely. skills might uh, come in handy what you do yep yeah we definitely uh clean it up shine it up you know put the leather repair on on items we get it as as clean and ready for the next person as possible yeah. um 
we do some sanding, some painting, some, you know, just the fun projects we know can just really shine in different ways. Yeah, yeah definitely. I've heard you mention we now we. a couple of I assume you weren't a right? solo act, you know, <laughs> but but I, I didn't ask you about your uh, your team there at Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. Yes, you yeah. obviously got some good help, huh? Yeah, I have a, a gal that does all of my kind of marketing stuff, Ashlyn, and then my mother in law, Gloria. She's my She's my go-to knowledge lady of all the, the wow. treasures, so it's been really fun. And then my fiancé helps with the muscle, so him and I have some pretty great, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty great well, arms I'm, at this point. I would imagine you'd have to, you know. <laughs> Put uh, my kids to work every once in a while, too. <laughs> okay, all right. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate. And uh, my guest is uh, Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. First time guest on the show. Also, uh, thank you to a couple of marketing partners with Diane and Becky that also helped bring you the show. Miles Link at Opportunity Bank of Montana and Rob Fleming at Man Mortgage. And back to Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment in the North Reserve Business Plaza. Do I got that right? Is yep, that a, you okay. got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Um, how much of what you carry is on consignment and, and what makes up the rest of the inventory? 100% consigned. All consignment. All consigned. Yeah. There's every once in a while I'll get a piece or two donated, um, but those people are usually just, they want it gone. You know, it could have been something, a part of their life that they just, a divorce or a death yeah. or something like that, and they're <laughs> just ready to let it go um, and just uh, walk away. So okay. they don't want anything for it. So it's but that's, really that's rare. Pretty small percentage. Pretty so. small percentage, yeah. All, all consignment, and you've kind of built up a, a consignment. Do we call them the consignees, the consigners? Right? I'm yes. not sure. Yeah. The, uh, kind of a consignees contact list over I the, the few yeah. years you've been doing this. Yeah, now. and it's all been really referral up until a year ago when I put the consignment name in um, my business. Before that, it was just a simple... Um, name. So I think it really came out um, yeah. that that's what I did. And so I got some new consign consigners, consignees um, through that. But yeah. Well, you mentioned Annalise Hedall, who uh, used to work here at Town Square yeah. Media and is a realtor now. And we are on a real estate show hosted by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson at Windermere. Um, your interaction with them or with realtors in, in general, if anywhere, where might your paths cross? Um, yeah, basically them just walking in. I have a lot of real estate agents that come in um, just, just for shopping. And then, you know, they get the information and they're able to pass that on to um, their their customers and whatnot. Right. And, yeah, I would love to have more of, you know, that kind of interaction just on a general basis to help wherever I can here in town. Because I just love my, my big thing was there's just such a huge um gap between you know the incomes and so many people that just want to let things go and so many people that really just need so badly so that's yeah. also the connection that i love to be able to make is some people that just can't afford much and um they're excited to come in and get some some items that are pretty spectacular at a better price what uh, what marketing tools have you found effective is it uh, just all strictly working uh various uh, aspects of social media get the word out there and uh, yeah the, the, the visual and all of that yeah yeah just making as many um you know social media you know blips as i can i'm not great at it by any means so i could use help anybody <laughs> um, Me. right I, yes I, please we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll chat later we'll talk. Yeah. yeah no that's but uh, definitely yeah that's that's pretty much where i've yeah that's yeah Gosh, we are uh, we are 18 minutes in, and I, I haven't even you know asked you about your uh, your customers. I've I've been asking a lot about your your uh, uh, sellers and whatnot. But uh, do do the typical customers, and I'm sure you got a lot of regulars because it, it, it's just kind of the the nature of the place. They they come in with a specific item or items in mind, or do you see a lot of customers just kind of checking out everything waiting for something to speak to them because this this sounds like a like a really really fun place to to do that kind of shopping it is fun because it changes over so quickly yeah um, there's always new stuff coming in and i'm always trying to change it up as much as possible and yes i definitely have my beloved customers that are 
you know, every couple of weeks they come in. And I think that's the treasure part for me is just, I love people. And I love getting to see like their joy on like the <laughs> new, they're like, oh gosh, that's great. You know, that's something that I've always wanted. So. And, and not really with necessarily anything in mind, no, right? No, And mm. normally like most of those customers don't necessarily buy a ton or even buy every time. It's just seeing them and getting to chat about their life and their kids or their oh, grandkids gosh, and yeah. it's pretty special yeah what what a what a great one-on-one -on -one relationship you develop with them and and there's probably the customer that, that comes in and i i it might be a you know on a, an eclectic or an unusual yes. item things like that hey jen do you have or who ha, have you ever had this oh man i have a list yeah yeah <laughs> but, yeah but there's some stories right there yes, what are they I looking have a for list. you know yeah it's all of those you know older kind of you know the, somebody came in looking for the campbell's specific soup bowl with the mm -mm good on it uh -huh. in red and very specific um so yeah it's just really neat to be able to kind of and then you you find it in one of your you know new consignments and you're like oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> and you run back to that person and, and there yeah. you go so so did you really up. find one or is it no that, that was that, today that, but that, no I okay, have found right. a couple right. yeah matches so if any of our listeners have a you know a Campbell's mm -mm good soup bowl yep, let me know you know hanging out on a shelf <laughs> get a hold of you yes absolutely at the, uh, at the, at the, the store there Montana redesign furniture consignment yep. and the owner Jen Fritz, uh, my guest this week on Missoula Real Estate uh, <laughs> Missoula Real Estate Today. Um, what what do you feel is is your most popular category or categories? Maybe there's not, you know, among customers right now. Any any seasonality to the store's merchandise? It seems like um, furniture is is the biggest thing that you know comes in, comes out, um, and you know all the decor and um, fun antique. Uh, pieces are just the fun, the fun part about it. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are looking for bedroom furniture, you know, dining tables, stuff yeah. like that. Nightstands, number one. Nightstands. Night, nightstands are number one. Hmm. <laughs> for yeah. all of you that have nightstands. <laughs> that would <laughs> include the Bedard family. I think, we, I don't know how many we've got. I'll have to, I'll <laughs> right? have to check. Yeah. I'm, I think I've wondered a time or two, why do we have all these nightstands? So here? many. Yep. Uh, I asked you a little bit about this earlier in the show, but a, a well-designed, thorough website, that, that has to be a critical component to your marketing platform. And yours is excellent, by the Aww, way. Thank you. Uh, do, do you get a lot of calls saying, I, I see what I want, can you hang on to it till I get there sort of yes, thing? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. And then yeah. How do you handle that? So, well, a little bit. Or... Oh, my goodness. That is my number one problem, getting, <laughs> getting ghosted in the market. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and that's, it's really tough for the next customer too. That's just sitting and waiting and, and then hoping. So, um, yeah, I just hope people can definitely, if they're going to say they're going to pick something up, <laughs> they're yeah. going to actually pick it up. We're, uh, we're a little on the honor system right. there. Right, yes, uh, yeah. But that, uh, that, that, that definitely, there's room for improvement on that just yeah. because of the, the nature of people. Yep. Well, they're not allowed to listen to this radio station right. anyway, so you yes. don't you don't have to worry about them. We've, we've banned, Everyone's important. We banned but... them. We want nothing but quality customers That's here this right. morning on yeah. uh, Montana Redesign Furniture Consignments episode of Missoula Real Estate Today. So if you could talk to uh, those listeners, a little more serious note here, one-on-one -on -one right now, Jen, mm -hmm. about items uh, in their basements or garages that are just taking up space, but you know, they, they, they don't want to do a yard sale oh for gosh, whatever right. reason. One, they're a pain in the butt. Yep. They think, well, maybe I, I probably don't necessarily have an, enough for that. They, 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 they don't know if they have much value. Um, what would, uh, it's your opportunity to, to say something to them. What would you tell them? Absolutely. And you know, the biggest thing is that everyone in their head thinks their items aren't worth much. So they're just looking at that pile in the corner and thinking, oh, that's just crap. It's not. It's a treasure to someone. Um, there's so many people that need items here, especially in Missoula. Um, we have, you know, a low income, um, huge base of low income people that just really need items. And they're good quality. I mean, especially the wood items that your grandmother had or, you know, that nightstand that somebody needs it. it it's and um, just... Yeah, being able to get that out into the market for other people is just huge. Um, not only that, but just it's a treasure. Um, yeah. And uh, 
I'll help you decide for sure yeah. how to get those items out there. And there, there's got to be, uh, I, I think you brought up, uh, I don't know if you call them antiques or just uh, antiquated or out, outdated mm. like electronics <laughs> equipment. Oh, yeah. But but there there's the, there's a nostalgia oh, yeah. component yep. there. You have no idea how hard it was for me to get rid of a turntable about six years ago. Yeah, you not know, anymore. But, yeah, yeah, what am I going to do with it? Okay, fine. I'm never going to do anything with it. But, um, you know, when I, yeah, I don't know if you mentioned a VCR, a DVD yes. player, things like yeah. that. Yep. Um, that, but electronics are probably a good example of that. I imagine there are other examples yep. of that, too. Yep, absolutely. Just, everything uh, has a, a value, um, and everything is a neat thing somebody created back, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and we don't see that today, and how cool uh, to have that piece. Yeah. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate, here on News Talk KGBO, and my guest, Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. Uh, I ask every guest about success stories, uh, any items that you have displayed in the store that, for whatever reasons, maybe gave you, you know, some extra satisfaction when uh, when you were able to uh, to get them sold. There was a huge table, and everybody that has come into my place knows about this. It's called the, we called it the King Arthur table. It was eight foot round, had the star in the middle, um, this, these ginormous um, green reupholstered chairs that were just, everything was real wood, big, huge pedestal at the bottom. It was fit for a king. Um, and it went up to a place up in, in the Mission Mountains um, at a Mission Ridge is what it's called. But I was so excited um, to have that piece in a place that, you know, people could all be around a table and, and share what, you know, experiences and whatnot. And that's what they do. But um, that table was treasured by so mm. many people. I think if people could have, you know, built their homes around that one piece, um, yeah, they definitely would have. It was it was pretty incredible. That's and very a, expensive. <laughs> very expensive. And from the good, 1800s. Good margins, you know. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's a great that answer. That was a win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome answer. Next big thing, in, in what areas would you like to see the store grow and improve as you, as you look down the road little ways? Yeah, I definitely am excited to have a team with me. Um I'm usually, you know, doing this kind of thing, you know, by myself, but i um, excited to have, you know, guys that can help pick up stuff and uh, kind of grow my team to, uh, to, so that I can focus more on the customer themselves. So, yeah. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate. And my guest this week has been Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment. So let's go over, uh, Jen, the, the location and the hours and contact and uh, and all of that, because we all want to come visit uh, the store. Absolutely. Um, I am at 2825 Stockyard Road at Suite F3, and that is in the North Reserve Business Center, and that's off of North Reserve, right. uh, kind of behind the old Chicago area. Mm -hmm. uh, my hours are uh, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 4, and then Saturdays, 11 to 2 right now, and it all changes. And I also do by appointment only mm. um, times on those off hours. Pretty much work seven days a week, so you can yeah. always get a hold of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I try to do Sunday and Monday to my kids and family. So. Nice. Yeah. yeah. How about um, the website? Website is um, on my Facebook page and my Instagram. Okay. Um, it's not easy to say because I have the longest okay. name in the there's century. A, there's a lot of letters right? there. But if you go to my Facebook page under my business name, um, you'll find my website there. I think I just did Montana Redesign Furniture, and that was enough. Yeah. That got me where I wanted to go so I could uh, you know, be a looky-loo there Yeah. at everything that you have. I love it. Jen Fritz, owner of Montana Redesign Furniture Consignment on Missoula Real Estate today this week. And you've been an awesome guest. I hope you'll come back. Thank you. I'd love to. Thank you for listening to Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck and Becky Peterson, the Beck and Beck team at Windermere Real Estate. For current listings and services Beck and Beck provide, visit move to Missoula.com. That's move, the number two, Missoula.com. We'll see you next time on Missoula Real Estate Today.